I wanted to highlight a couple of things here in this video. It just shows you just how important it is to have good relationships with people and not to treat people wrong. It, it is the facts of the situation. The Washington Wizards have gave Davis Bertans a new five-year, $80 million deal that breaks down to about $16 million per year to keep a guy who, I mean, essentially Davis doubled his point production for the Wizards last year. He got a lot of run, obviously, with John Wall not in the lineup. Davis got more shots, and the Wizards gave him more opportunity. Um, you look, Davis is a fine player. I'm, I, I'm not taking anything away from him. But again, it comes down to me, like, how, val how much do you value as a team relationships versus talent? I'm looking at a guy that's still available, right? DeMarcus Cousins. Obviously, he's had two major injuries. He's trying to fight back and, and get some run with, a, with, a, with an organization, trying to find an organization that will believe in him, right? I'm looking at a guy in, in, in DeMarcus Cousins who, if DeMarcus Cousins and Davis Bertans went one-on-one -on -one 10 times, DeMarcus Cousins probably would beat him nine out of the 10 times. I'll give Davis, because he's an NBA player, one out of 10. Like, that's a fact. Today, Cousins would beat him nine times out of 10. But because the perception of DeMarcus Cousins is he's a guy who doesn't get along with a lot of teammates, he's demonstrative in his approach, he's got a bad rep around the league. I actually don't like how DeMarcus Cousins is perceived around the league. I don't think he's, un I don't think he's fairly got the reputation that he has around the league. I think there are guys all around the league that you can say he deserves it. He's an a-hole to be around. But I'm not sure if DeMarcus Cousins actually deserves the reputation that he has garnered around the league. You know, he's a guy that wants to come into your organization and work. Say what you want about him, but he wants to work. And it is disrespectful. I'm sure DeMarcus Cousins is looking around like, what? This dude gets five years, $80 million, and I'm still free? And you're telling me you don't like that Wizards team a little more today? If DeMarcus Cousins is healthy, which is a big if, if they have DeMarcus at big to go alongside Bradley Bill and maybe Russell Westbrook, if they complete this John Wall for Westbrook swap, that could potentially happen. I'm looking around thinking to myself, okay, that's a team that could easily could contend for a six seed out east. So, I'm, I'm, you know, I just wanted to put it out there. Like, Dwight Howard took a, a veterans minimum deal with the Philadelphia 76ers. Like, come on, man. You really believe Davis Bertans is $14 million better than Dwight Howard? Today, I could argue Dwight's a better player than Davis Bertans right now. And the fact that there's no market for Dwight and the fact that there's no market for uh, DeMarcus, to me it comes down to how much do you value a good guy? Like how many good guys do you want in your, your, your organization? I'm not saying that they have to be, uh, I don't want a bad guy in my organization, but damn, if he's gritty, if he's hard-nosed, and sometimes he'll get on his teammates' ass a little bit in practice. Like, how much do I value a guy who's a good locker room guy? He comes in and give me 12 points a game. How much do I value that guy versus a guy that could easily come in and today give you 18 and 10? 